So what we're seeing now with the internet, uh, a lot of buying processes for customers have changed. And oftentimes they're doing research themselves before they buy a product. And most of the sales cycle has already happened by the time they actually talk to somebody from a store or from a company itself to actually purchase a product. And so what happens is if you're not watching what's out there related to your brand on the internet, Oftentimes, cyber criminals will step into the vacuum and they'll start using your brand to trick your customers into giving up their personal information. Uh, and then they could be the victims of a cyber attack and then the company doesn't know what's out there. Uh, you know, a company really has to be careful about what is going on in their name, even when they're not doing something themselves in social media or online uh, or in the mobile space with apps. Uh, cyber criminals are making copies of different brands and their imagery to use that to trick customers into giving up their personal information. And so even if you're not doing something with your brand online, cyber criminals probably are. You've got to take a multi-pronged strategy when it comes to protecting your brand online and in the mobile space as well. Uh, first thing you need to do is make sure that nobody is making websites with similar names to your own website or similar names to your brands, your trademarks. Uh, and if you look for these cousin domains, you got to try to take them down. Uh, so you got to find them and then also remove them. You also want to look in social media. Anytime your brand is mentioned in social media, you want to know about it because oftentimes there's fake profiles uh, imitating various popular brands. Uh, and that's what they're using to launch different kinds of attacks. You also want to go to the mobile app stores, not just the mainstream ones like Google and Apple. You also want to go to those third-party app stores that are not so tightly controlled, where a lot of fake applications are showing up and people are downloading them and then they're uh, finding out that they're fake and they were attacked and their device became infected. So you want to make sure you're finding those fake applications and removing them before your customers find them. Uh, you also want to monitor your website itself for people who are trying to copy parts of your website for use in a phishing site. Uh, you want to make sure that if people are doing something that's not normal in interacting with your site, that you can shut that activity down. Uh, and then finally, as a marketer, um, it's not really connected directly to security, but if you have a strong brand voice uh, and it's very vigorous, you know, people will be able to tell the difference between your genuine brand imagery and the imitations that cyber criminals use to actually launch their attacks. So if you have that strong voice, people will be easily, well, people will be able to easily recognize the difference between what you're actually doing and what cyber criminals are attempting to do by ripping off your